Welcome, this is the Algebra 1 end of course practice test 3, question number 19. The question says the table below shows shoe sales each month for 6 months. And it gives you a nice little list of months and pairs sold. Using the line of best fit, what is the best prediction for the number of pairs of shoes sold in the 8th month? So a big deal here is they want the line of best fit. For me, I'm going to go in and make a table of my data and then create, uh, I do a linear regression because they want a line. So I'm going to need to get out the calculator here. Hopefully I can open it. Alright, so in order to do that on a T84 Plus, I'm going to go into the list section. And uh, fortunately for me, hopefully for me, I already typed them all in. So you don't have to sit here and watch me type these in, which takes forever. I mean on this thing it does, on the computer. But uh, just put all your x values here, your uh, independent variables, put all your dependent variables that match so 2 should be with 82, that kind of thing, over here. Now that you have them, we can use that information to create a line of best fit relatively easily. So I'm going to quit out, set second quit. Then I'm going to go back into the stat menu, at least on this one. Your calculator may be different. You may have to look up a video about how to do a line of best fit if you're not told by your teacher. And you're going to go over into the calc section. That's where mine is located anyway. And I'm going to go down to the LINREG. That means linear regression. It means it's going to take the information and try to find the line of best fit. So I'm going to, and it says AX plus B. That'll be helpful here in a minute. I hit enter. I need to tell it which lists I wrote the answers in, uh, and that kind of thing. And then I'm just going to calculate it. And I come out with a Y equals AX plus B piece of information. So what it tells me is that if I were to rewrite this, y equals, usually you're used to mx plus b, but the calculator here uses ax plus b for reasons that it's easier to do that as a constant. So it treats it like a constant anyway, even though it's technically a change component. x and then 59.1. Now, the uh, this is essentially works as my explicit formula. So if I plugged in 1, it should give me 73-ish in that general area because it's a line of best fit and not the greatest fit of all time. But we want to know the 8th month. So for x, all I'm going to do is plug in an 8. And then I'm going to solve it out, and it should tell me what the value is. So I'm going to see if the calculator will let me get out of here and make that happen. So I'm going to type in 12 plus 2. And I tend to use parentheses a lot just because it makes it easier for the calculator to understand what the heck I'm trying to type in. 59.1 and I hit enter and it gives me 156.7. So very close to C, which in this case is the correct answer. So once I have my line of best fit, uh, I'm going to choose C once I, I'll have to do is plug the number back in to the original or to that equation. So Good luck.